We have covered creating route handlers for GET and POST requests. Now let's tackle patch and delete requests, which work a bit differently since they require specifying which comment to update or delete. While our slash comments route handler handles GET and POST requests, patch and delete requests need an endpoint like slash comments slash ID, where the ID is a dynamic segment. It could be one, two, three, or any valid ID from our comments array. So first, let's learn how to create a dynamic route handler that returns a single comment based on its ID. This will set us up nicely for handling patch and delete requests later. You will be pleased to know that dynamic route handlers follow the same pattern as dynamic page routes. So to create a route handler for slash comments slash ID, first we will create a new folder called ID wrapped in square brackets within the comments folder. So new folder within square brackets ID. Then we'll add a route.ts file inside it, route.ts, and define our get handler function. Export async function get. Inside this function, we need to fetch a specific comment that matches the route's ID parameter. First, we will import the comments array that contains our data. So import comments from data. Next, we need to access the ID route parameter. And as it turns out, the handler function takes two parameters. First is a request object, which we are already familiar with. Second is a context object containing the route parameters. So params of type promise, which contains our ID route parameter of type string. Now we are only interested in the context so prefix the request object with an underscore. Within the function body, await the promise and destructure the ID property from the params object. So const ID is equal to await params. Using this ID, we search through our comments array to find the matching comment. So const comment is equal to comments.find and for each comment, we check if its ID matches the parameter ID, so parse int ID. Once found, we send it back to the client as a JSON response. Return response.json comment. Let's test this in Thunder Client. In the tab where we are making a GET request, let's append slash one to the URL and hit send. We get a 200 OK status and the comment with ID is equal to one. Try slash two, send, and we get the second comment. Same with slash three for the third comment. The URL parameter determines which comment we retrieve. While we are only working with three comments here, in the real application, you might have thousands of database records, but the logic remains the same. Extract the ID from the parameters, find the data corresponding to that ID, and return as JSON. But now that we understand dynamic route handlers, Let's move on to handling patch requests for updating individual comments. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.